What's up guys, Maniacs here, and welcome to Macronum 3048. Hopefully I said the name right. Now this game popped up today on Game Joe, and it's apparently it is a part of a recent game jam or a game jam that's going on. I don't exactly know what the game jam is. I probably should have looked that up or actually paid attention to the description when I launched into the game. But this game popped up, and there really isn't any information about it. It's part of a game jam, so there's not going to be a huge amount in it, but it looked kind of cool based off of the screenshots and everything from the game itself. Now... I actually just launched into the game a second ago, but my driver decided to crash, so I had to back out of it and uh, basically fix that. So, I kind of know how to play the game, I think. Well, I actually didn't get very far. I literally started the game and it crashed. Not the game's fault, my computer's fault. So, more or less, what you're supposed to do is... Actually, you know what? I'll show you. But I forgot about this little message here that popped up, the, uh, popped up at the beginning. There's a whole message that pops up here that gives you information and backstory on the game. And if you guys can probably hear right now, you might be able to hear it in the microphone and uh, in the game itself. There we go. It's finally over. Um, there is a really loud grinding noise that more or less starts out when you uh, load into the game. And it's very fucking loud. And I didn't know the, the first time I did it. And I just forgot, even though it was only two seconds ago. All right. Welcome to Sector, Sector 88G. You have been assigned by the direction to contribute into the security program, The Cleaner Eye. You're at front line protecting group thinking. Your mission consists in localize and prevent dangerous individual behaviors. You are provided with a high-tech CCTV kit terminal, Mind Healer 3.5. Use your manual. I can zoom in, stuff like that. Click to monitor. Okay, so more or less how the game starts out is there are all of these monitors, and I have to basically check to find out who is a threat. Now, in this world, everything's a dystopian future, so everybody's more or less... You can't think for yourself, so if anybody's ever seen the anime Psychopaths... It's kind of like that, where literally if you think of a crime, then a, uh, a group of detectives will show up and try to kill you. So I really don't know how to look out for somebody different, but everybody's more or less walking the same way. It doesn't really look like anybody's... Okay, there's two threats. Maybe that guy? Nope, not him. Okay, there's more than... Okay, well... Oh, that guy's different. Okay. Nope, he's not different. So basically, somebody will have uh, something different. Like, that guy has headphones. That that guy has headphones. Oh, there's a lot of... T okay, that guy's different. I don't know why I couldn't click on the guy with the headphones. Uh, oh, that guy's got a blue shirt. Okay. See, everybody has to be gray and different. That guy has purple pants. Uh, let's see. What else do we have here? But it's cool that it's, it's set up in an old, like, CCTV style. Or... Oh, that guy's got a hat on. Uh... Let's see what else we have here. Oh, that guy's got a shirt. There's apparently 21 targets. I don't... Oh, that guy's different. That guy's different back there. He has fucking teal pants on for some reason. Who would ever leave their house with teal pants? That guy's got a red shirt. Wow, it doesn't really seem... Okay, and I crashed. Oh my god, that is so fucking loud. Alright, now that I actually know how to play, I'm gonna give it an actual shot here now. Gotta pay attention to the different cameras. But it is cool how you can zoom in and out. I really like the, uh, I like the camera style of it. I like the game itself when it comes to using, like, this style of, gra this style of gameplay and everything. I think it's kind of cool and creative. Alright, there's gotta be somebody different. It says that there's at least two targets. I just don't know where those targets are. Oh, there's that, there's one. I can't click on him for some reason. Why can't I click on that guy? Alright, that was weird. You guys saw that. That guy had a hat on and I couldn't click on him. So more or less everybody, like, that guy... Oh, I have to click on the object. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought I could just click on the guy. Why can't I click on his pants? That guy's got different pants on too. Damn it. Click on him. There we go. Alright, apparently there's 18 threats. That guy's different. Oh, that guy has headphones. He just walked out of frame though. So we literally spawned with the stuff on. What was I supposed to do? I can't click on that guy for some reason. Oh, that guy had green pants. That guy had a hat. Uh, that guy's got that. Uh, do I have to, like, zoom in to click on him? I don't get it. That guy's different. Oh, and I lost again. God damn, that is really loud. All right. Your service are unsatisfactory. You will be deleted, delegated to sewer ma maintenance. All right, I want to try one more time. It's cool, the round only lasts a few short minutes, but I can't actually turn the camera or anything like that. I can only zoom in. Zoom in and out, and I can, uh... I, I can click on them, but some... Okay, no, I thought that guy was different. Some people, like, I don't know. Like, you can't click on them for some reason. That guy have headphones on? Nope. 
Come on, it says that there's three targets. Where are they? I don't see anybody out of what out of that's different. Oh, that guy that guy see I can't click on that guy. Why can't I? Okay, apparently that guy had jewelry on or something. That guy's got a shirt. That guy's got a hat. That guy has pants. That guy has a okay. So it's more or less you gotta keep an eye on all of the monitors at once. This guy has pants. Uh there's fifteen targets. So I don't know if there's actually... Oh, see, I can't kit those guys out because they're too far away, I guess. I don't know. Apparently, I'm trying to heal them by making them act different. Or making them act normal, I guess. I don't know. I would not want to live in this place, though. See, that guy literally just spawns. It'd be nice if they came off of frame of the camera. I think... I don't think there's actually a way... I don't think there's a way to beat the game. I think it's literally... Ah, it's so loud! I think it's more or less just play it and then, you know, you see what happens or whatnot. But I want to see how long... I'd like to survive for more than a minute. See, everybody seems normal right now. Or maybe... Maybe you can't have whatever color that is on the screen. So if a dude's walking by with, like, a blue umbrella when I'm on the blue screen, maybe that's okay? Okay, apparently there's two targets. Where are you? Ah, there you are. Green pants. Okay, what else we got? What else we got? What else we got? The umbrella one is really hard to see. Uh, what else we have? It says that there's targets. Where are they? Damn it. Where are you? Oh, that guy's got blue shoes. Uh, hat, shirt. Nope, I guess I, I lied. That guy has red shoes. That's the first time I've seen the shoes. Oh, that guy. Oh, I actually got him for some reason. See, before when I was clicking on somebody, it wouldn't let me. I'm actually doing much, much better. But, oh, umbrella. All right, cool. Come on. Oh, it's making my eyes water because, uh... Come on. Come on. It says that there's 11 targets. I don't see anybody. Oh, that guy has a shirt. Okay, that guy literally... I, I, I never saw him. Oh, hat. Okay. Hat. Uh... Oh, pants, pants, headphones, headphones. Dude, if I ever lived in a future where I couldn't listen to the music I want to listen to, hell no. Fuck that future. That is not the type of future that I... There's 46 people? That's... Ah, oh God, that's so loud. Oh, my God. Okay, so, no, I uh, I don't want to play again. That is super fucking loud. God damn. I, granted, I do have my volume up really high, but that is so loud. Alright, so that was Macronum 3048. Pretty cool little game, honestly. I like the simplicity of it. Uh, I don't really know exactly what the game jam was, so it would probably be a little better if I could talk about the game jam. I should probably look that up. Oh, okay, so apparently it's part of a uh, 48-hour game jam where you can't have any characters, so I'm guessing it means you can't have a main objective, or you can't have, like, an actual main character. The game can never tell you that they're is uh, that you are somebody. I guess that's what that means. I don't really know because my character didn't have a voice, didn't have any dialogue or anything like that. So I guess that makes sense. But this was kind of a cool little creative, simple little game. I don't. I think it's more or less impossible to win. I don't think there actually is a goal. I think it's just survive as long as you can. Uh, but I really like the old CCTV style like layout of it. You play as somebody in like a distant future that's technically the past though. Kind of like, uh, kind of like how alien uh perceived the future technology when the original alien came out where they had like cctv tvs cctvs there we go put an extra c in there for some reason uh as like their high definition or whenever they pulled up like a monitor sequence it was like a super blurry pixelated style thing that was in like 200 frames per second maybe if it was even i don't even think it was that not 200 frames but 200 yeah you get what, I, get what I'm asking. You get what I'm saying. But not a bad little game. I liked it. It was simple. Wasn't too much to it. It's more or less just click on the different colors. Everything else is still, or everything else is gray and bleak and bland. But kind of cool little game jam thing. I thought it was kind of kind of creative in its own little way. I like that security style. I like the retro aspect of it. When apparently the year is 3048, where everything's a dystopian future. So honestly, not not too bad. Uh, just not a whole lot to it. But then again, this was a game jam that didn't require any characters. So. Most of these game jam games are put out in the 48 hours that they're made. 
so there's usually not a whole lot to it, but it was kind of fun for a first round bout. So anyway, if you guys want to check this game out for yourself, there'll be a link to it in the description below. It's a very small download if you want to check it out. If you manage to beat my score, feel free to brag in the comment section below. And thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to check out the annotations that are going to spawn right here for more videos that I've done. And I'll see you guys next time. Maniacs out. And she can feel that. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Yeah, sure. Just fucking hit it a couple more times. Why don't you? Whenever I pick one of those things up or whatever that actual is, it'll give me a, a thing to send to my sister. Enter the church.